It's 1968, an era of freedom and sexual revolution, and teenage boy Wolfgang faces the brutal methods of education to be a decent man after he's sent to Freistadt, a foster home for troubled children. The boys in Freistadt are to take part in arduous manual labor every day and are treated worse than criminals. Wolfgang is a 14-year-old boy who lives with his mother, sister, and stepfather in Osnabrück, Germany. He loves his mother and his sister dearly, but is just an insolent brat for his stepfather. He feels that his stepfather is a rival, competing with him for his mother's love. He aims to be a mechanic as he's interested in working with bikes. One summer afternoon, his stepfather catches him red-handed looking at an erotic magazine with his friends. He hits the boy, and his pregnant mother comes to stop him. Unable to withstand his misconduct, he's sent to an institution run by a Christian organization. Wolfgang's mother promises to bring him back by Christmas. He's bid goodbye with his favorite cake baked by his mother. In the institution, he's welcomed by his housefather, Brockman. He reads out Wolfgang's file labeling him as unruly, disobedient, and aggressive, but Wolfgang defends himself from those allegations. The housefather tears a paper from his file and turns it into a planter for seedlings. He's given a set of clothes and a pair of shoes to wear inside the institution. Soon, he meets his fellow friends along with brother Wilde and brother Krapp there. In the dining hall, he meets Anton. While talking, Anton tells him that he too is from Osnabrück. Later in the communal bathroom, he sees Mathieu being pulled aside and bullied by a group of boys. Unable to keep his cool, he intervenes with them but gets himself into trouble. Band, the big shot of the group, punches him in the face and forces shoe polish in his mouth. Even Mathieu, who Wolfgang saved just a moment ago, joins in with the bullies. He later learns that Mathieu was responsible for them getting half rations that day. He finds out the rule that if one commits a mistake, everyone is punished together in one way or another. It explains why the boys were directing all their anger towards him. Later, all the boys are to pay their respect to the housefather and brothers before setting off to work in the peat bogland via the manual cart. There, they're involved in labor-intense work of harvesting peat for making peat briquettes. The brothers would physically punish anyone slacking from their work. Amidst working in the field, they are given breaks where they are allowed to eat lunch, rest for a while, and smoke tobacco freely. While working in the bogland, due to his oversized shoes, Wolfgang keeps hurting his feet. And looking at him, Anton informs him that he will be getting his rubber boots in two months. Wolfgang is frustrated learning that, so he goes to complain about it to brother Wilde, only to get hit with a digger. His face gets dunked in the peatland, while Brockman is observing everything from afar. During their return from that place, he decides to flee. He grabs Anton's belt and stops the cart's gear machine, causing it to halt. He then tries to make his escape, but soon gets stuck in the bog pool. Brother Wilde keeps following him, and there is nowhere out for Wolfgang to run away, so he's forced to return back to the institution. Back in school, Anton's afro is forcibly cut as punishment for helping Wolfgang. Due to the afternoon incident, smoking is banned for a week, and all the other boys come to pick a fight with them. Everyone takes a turn hitting Wolfgang on his back. At last, they even make Anton hit him. After they leave, the housefather comes to comfort him and hugs him. Getting scared, Wolfgang pulls himself away from him. That night, he had to sleep on his belly. Anton comes to apologize to him, but he turns his face away. Band tries explaining how things work there. One has to follow this set of rules or else they won't be able to survive. Wolfgang believes that he'll be out of there by Christmas, as his mother has promised to get him by then. Band, filling in the story of some students, tells him that Brockman will destroy him before that. But Wolfgang is determined not to end up like them. Sanctuary is a sensational film that tells the real and emotional story of survival and overcoming a period of abuse. The movie is based on actual events. Until the 1970s, Freistadt was regarded as a juvenile correction training institution. And the film has given a voice to victims and shown the extent to which people have suffered at the hand of these institutions. The film focuses on a young teenage boy who is sent to a Freistadt by his stepfather to learn how he struggles to resist the system of violence and oppression in the hope of returning to his mother and his old life. Stay tuned with us. Next, they are once again taken to work at a peat bog. Wolfgang is made to carry the peat by Brother Wilde. There, he notices Brockman making a business deal. At the end of the day, they are allowed to play in the bog pool for 10 minutes. The boys enjoy playing to the fullest in what little free time they have. Later inside the institution, they are sitting together to write letters to their family back home. Wolfgang is also writing a letter to his mother, informing her about his well-being in the sanctuary and getting to learn about the Christian faith. 
After writing the letter, he secretly hides the pencil in his pocket. Next, the boys are working in Brockman's garden, harvesting the fruits and vegetables as well as screening out the insects. They are tempted to taste the juicy looking strawberries and tomatoes. The boys see Wolfgang sneaking out of the work to meet Angelica, the house father's daughter. He gives her a letter and asks her to send it to his mother. She asks what he can offer in return for her favor. She then grabs his hand and put it over her chest. Right at that moment, they are caught by her father. She immediately plays the victim and lies about him hitting on her. However, she secretly takes Wolfgang's letter with her. For his misbehavior, Brockman decides not to let the boys have their dinner that night. All the boys are furious for being deprived of dinner on his account. So Wolfgang decides to get them something to eat from the sacred garden of Brockman. While Brockman is lecturing Wilde for not keeping the boys in control, Wolfgang sneaks into the garden and plucks some tomatoes. Unfortunately, Brockman catches him and tortures him by dunking his head into the water barrel, barely letting him breathe. Coughing and breathing heavily, he still plucks the tomatoes. Brother Wilde tries to stop him, but he still continues. Getting angry with him, Brockman steps on his hand, causing it to bleed. As if to provoke him, Wolfgang eats tomatoes smirking at him. Unable to keep his cool, Wilde loses his mind and hits him crazily with a baton. All the boys and Angelica have been witnessing the whole thing from the window. Later, Band carries him in and all the boys are worried for him. While Band is about to bandage his forehead, he puts a tomato in his hand. It's their free day. They are smoking, playing billiard balls, listening to the radio and singing the song. Brockman comes to spoil the atmosphere and states that he has found a letter in his girl's thing. He makes Wolfgang read the letter out loud. The letter has been addressed to his mother, explaining the torture they are getting there and begging her to get him back. He asks the house father to punish only him, but instead, he grabs Anton's radio and leaves. However, Anton starts to sing the freedom song as a form of revolt. Immediately, he is joined by other boys as well. In his office, Brockman is seen eating Wolfgang's favorite cake sent by his mother for his birthday. Next, the boys are seen locked up in a room. Band is annoyed watching Wolfgang look at his mother's photo. He grabs and lights his mother's photo on fire, saying his mother has even forgotten his birthday, adding that no one remembers them anymore and it's pointless waiting for them. Wolfgang then cries over the burnt photo. On Christmas night, everyone has gathered in the church to pray and celebrate. Finding the opportunity, Angelica secretly passes the front gate key to Wolfgang. During the dinner, Band passes a piece of cake to him that Hans has stolen from the kitchen. He immediately recognizes it to be his favorite home-baked cake. During the ceremony, Brockman announces that Brother Krapp will be leaving the place due to personal reasons. Mattis is devastated to hear the news. He accidentally reveals them being in a relationship. Brother Wilde slaps Krapp and makes him leave immediately. Amid the chaos, Band is asked to lead the group to sing a song. Thinking of this as a perfect opportunity, Wolfgang slips away and opens the entrance door. Notably, with his even worse luck, he's once again found out by Brockman. This time, he's tied with ropes and chains. Even in his battered state, he sees images of going to the sea with his mother and spending time with her. It's clear that he loves his mother more in a romantic way. Again, the boys are seen working to clear the peat area while Angelica comes to meet Wolfgang. She tells him that she's going to Hamburg for further studies and bids him goodbye with a kiss. He gets caught up in the moment and tries to get physical with her. Then she runs off without looking back once. Later that night, he watches her leave for Hamburg through the window pane. One day, while working in Peatland, Matthias refuses to work, so Brother Wilde was just about to hit him. But Wolfgang intervenes and attacks him with the digger, injuring his right eye. Grabbing this opportunity, he runs away with Anton and encourages others to do so. They get lost, running in circles around the far-stretched peatland. In the process, Anton loses his rubber boot and gets his legs injured. Finally, following the cart tracks, they make it out of the peatland. That night, they take shelter at a horse stable. In the morning, they sneak into the horse carriage which is being transported to Osnabrück. At last, they make it home. Now it's time for them to go their separate ways. Still, Anton follows Wolfgang. Soon, he realizes that Anton is not from his hometown and that he even doesn't have parents to call to pick him up. Even so, he cannot take him home with him. Handing him some pennies to call his relatives, he shoes him off. Back at home, he's welcomed home heartily by his mother. He tells her that they're assaulted in that institution, but Brockman has already captured Anton and now is at Wolfgang's door. But he refuses to return back with him to the institution. Seeing her son shaking with fear, his mother wants to talk with the house father. 
Finally, she decides to take a look at the institution herself. Sadly, unlike what he has thought, his mother and stepfather do not even get out of the car upon reaching there. They drive away, leaving him there. He chases after them, but it was of no avail. Vilde has been waiting to take his revenge. He takes Wolfgang somewhere in the woods along with Band. He then orders the boy to dig a hole in the ground. After the work is done, Band is made to bury him alive in the same hole. He started filling the hole with the dirt, but he cannot bring himself to bury his friend. After he refuses to complete the work, Vilde himself grabs the digger, buries the boy, and walks off from there, dragging Band along with him. Right after they leave, Brockman comes to his rescue and brings him back to the institution. The next morning, Wolfgang wakes to the sound of turmoil. Anton has hanged himself to death. Vilde comes to find the root cause of all the commotion and sees his dead body. He blames the boy for being weak and even throws some racial comments at him. His death has led to the outburst of his fellow's suppressed anger. The group collectively attacks Vilde, steals his key, and escapes. Wolfgang stays with Anton, so he's the only one left behind. Now it's the year 1970. The sanctuary is operating as usual, and most of the boys are brought back. Wolfgang is the acting leader of the group. Due to his stepfather's death after getting involved in a fatal accident, he's set free to return home. His sister decorated the table to welcome him home. He sees the toddler half-brother in the backyard. Wolfgang grabs a piece of cake and decides to leave without even meeting his family. On the way, he meets his old friends. He borrows some money from them. They've invited him to hang out with them later that night, but Wolfgang refuses, saying he needs to celebrate with his family. Meanwhile, one of his friends grabs the cake out of his hand. Wolfgang right away punches that friend in his face and sprints out of there. He then sets off for his journey. As the train is moving, he sees the boys from the sanctuary going towards the peatland. The end. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. It helps us out tremendously. If you fancy more videos, check out this video now.